Now the first step in the die spatnay or julienne is you need to top and tail, which is cut the ends off, and then you need to square it. And it doesn't matter what object you are dicing or julienning, you need to actually uh, start with a rectangle. So just start that by rotating the object around and cutting off the sides nice and flat to where you form a rectangle. Go back and just trim it up a little bit just to make sure that it's all nice and even. Now your first cut after the squaring off is to cut it into even slabs. And the width of the slabs that you cut are basically going to be decided by the size of the batonet, julienne, or dice that you wish uh, your end product to be. And we're going to go more over that in detail to end this video. Now take those slabs, stack them into two or three stacks, and you're going to cross cut them into strips, again the same width as your initial slab is. And as you can see here, we ended up with a nice even batonet, nice and rectangular. Now, if you want to turn that into a dice, just cross cut it and see how I'm using my finger to kind of hold those together. That's just going to allow you to visualize a much more even dice. And if you spread those out, it's going to be a quarter of an inch cubed, which is a small dice. Now, if you want to go back and actually do a julienne, you're going to start the exact same process. We're going to square it off. Now, when you cut it into slabs, though, this time you're going to cut those slabs an eighth of an inch thick. And then again, you're going to take those slabs, stack them up and cross cut them into strips which is going to give you basically an eighth of an inch squared by about two inches long, which is a true julienne. Now to brunoise, just simply stack your julienne into a nice tight bundle, cross cut into an eighth of an inch cubed, and that's your brunoise. Now your measurements are what define the actual dice julienne brunoise or batonet. So for the batonet, it's nothing more than a quarter of an inch squared by two and a half inches long. Now if you take that batonet and you cross cut it, you get a quarter of an inch cubed and that's a small dice. Now you can arrive at a medium dice which is a half inch cubed or a large dice which is three quarters of an inch cubed by using the batonet model. That is to cut a uh, batonet first whether it be a quarter of an inch square or three quarters of an inch squared and then cross cutting it into your desired dice. Now a julienne is just like a batonet except it's an eighth of an inch squared by two inches long. And a fine julienne is the same thing, except it's a sixteenth of an inch squared by two inches long. So it's just much more fine. Now to brunoise, you're just basically taking your uh, julienne and you are cross cutting it into an eighth of an inch cubed. And for a fine brunoise, you are taking your fine julienne and you're cross cutting it into a sixteenth of an inch cubed. For more instructional videos on knife skills just like this and other cooking techniques, check out stellaculinary.com slash knife